Uh, the Polygon Layer 2 network has exploded over the last couple of months. The purpose of this quick video is, if you have the time to set it up, is how do you set up your own custom RPC to handle transaction speeds? Uh, right now, there's a little bit of congestion on the Polygon network. Uh, a lot of people are reporting on some slow speeds, and sometimes switching your RPC can help. You curious? Stay tuned. Hey, it's Chris. So I got this idea from one of our community members, Monkey, over in the official Discord at Boba Capital, which is the official Discord for famous YouTuber and all of our yield farming friends, friend, Taiki Maeda. So uh, if you'd like to join a community of fellow DeFi and yield farming enthusiasts, please join us there. Also, go watch Taiki's videos because he's, he's, he's the guy. He's, he's our guy. He's the man. And they're amazing if you want to get into yield farming and just knowing more about decentralized finance, particularly on the, uh, the Polygon Layer 2 blockchain ecosystem. So uh, the reason why I made this video is just really just to give you an option, a quick option, to create an RPC server if you feel that the, con that the network is pretty congested. Sometimes when you uh, are using your MetaMask wallet or whatever wallet you use and you confirm a transaction, sometimes it's taking a little bit of time for that to go through. So hopefully what this will do is to, is to really kind of help out with that. So if the question you're asking is, what is an RPC server? So basically on the network, your data is just a bunch of ones and zeros. In particular, in the Ethereum network, it's using JSON RPC as a protocol. And basically JSON is a, it's like, it's a, it's a data protocol that allows you to send data in a very simple string based fashion, I guess is the best way to, to describe it. So uh, basically the, the network has a limited number of RPC servers. Uh, I don't know how many. Then when you think about it, we're just use, we're just sending text over um, to, from the server to the client. So it should be pretty quick, but because of the number of transactions that are going through, uh, there are a lot. So uh, one thing that, uh, that, that Monkey's idea gave me the idea for was to just set up your own. So in the event that if you wanted to, you, you absolutely could just switch over and use this if the network was slow. Uh, one way to think about how RPC servers are working is, let's say you're in a grocery store and you're going to, you know, you have a cart full of goodies to, to bring home and you go to, to check out, there's only a certain number of registers you can go to. So ideally what this, this idea is, is to create your own register in the grocery store to check out and then go through. So you don't, you skip the lines basically is the idea. So um, it's a, it's a very straightforward process with that said, basically you, you have RPC servers, which are used to handle transactions back and forth on the network. There's a limited number on there, which is better than just one. Uh, you can certain, you can switch between a majority of servers inside of your, your web-based wallet, whether it be MetaMask or something like that. Uh, but basically this video is to really help you create your own. So in the event that you want to have the privacy of having your own RPC server, uh, to handle transactions back and forth on the network. Uh, that, that's really the, the point of this, especially if there's some uh, a lot of congestion. Uh, it may not really improve performance for you because technically, you know, that the, the servers themselves are just transmitting data that's pretty much just text. Um, it's encrypted, obviously. But. So I'll give you the, the, the quick summary for those who don't want to, to stick around for the entire video, which I completely understand. Uh, we're going to be using a service called Infura. And uh, it's basically, it's a, let me pull up that website. It is a, it's an Ethereum API technology that's hosted. It's, uh, they call it the world's most powerful blockchain development suite. And this is what we will be using to create our custom RPC server. So there's a couple of caveats here. Uh, there is a free account tier, which is what we're looking for. So yeah, there's no cost to this really. Uh, you get 100,000 requests per day. Originally I thought this was per month, but now that it's per day, yeah, absolutely. Unless you're completely doing a crazy amount of things, 100,000 requests per day should be plenty for what you're doing on the network. So the Polygon add-on, which is for the Polygon sidechain, the, net, the layer two network that we're using, it normally costs $200. Uh, but it is free for the time being. I don't know how long it's going to be free, but this, that's the reason why I decided to make this video and get it out as soon as possible. Uh, the other part is you will need to put down a debit or credit card on your account. 
Uh, mainly, I guess, so that you don't have to worry about uh, overages. This was required for me to sign up for this account. If you can find a way to get around this, then uh, yay for you. But I, I was this is what I had to do, unfortunately. Uh, if this doesn't drive with you, then this method isn't for you. Very simple. For me personally, I use an app called Privacy. I'll put a link to it in the description below. And basically, it gives you a... Uh, it's really a mobile app. That's what I've been using it for. And uh, it's a it's a app that gives you one-time cards for credit cards, debit cards, and it's linked to a payment source for whichever payment source you want to give to it. Uh, so basically it's a good way to, to get burner numbers. I mean, and I, and I mean that in the, in the, in the nicest of ways. So when you're using, uh, let's say a service where you don't want to expose your actual payment details, just give them a, a, a number that you get generated from privacy and that'll help, uh, that'll help protect you in that case. Uh, what's nice too is you can also set limits on what your transaction amount is going to be uh, for whatever merchant that you use. They also have one-time numbers, but I always lock it to the, to the merchant that uses the card the first time. And you can set a limit for, I, I think I even put mine to a dollar. So it'll never be more than a dollar for the transaction fee um, if there is one. So uh, with that said, I'm going to go through what the the overall part of the video is going to cover. Uh, the rest is actually going to be me walking through it. So basically, these are what you're going to. This, these are the steps you're going to follow. You're going to sign up for an Infura.io account. You're going to add that Polygon network up here to your account. You're going to create a new project, and then you're going to receive a URL within that project that is your specific project key. From there, you're going to take that URL and you're going to create a custom RPC in MetaMask or whatever wallet that you use trust wallet or whatever wallet you're using that allows you to use a custom RPC. And you're going to paste the address inside your project as your RPC URL. And that's it. Switch to it, test it with a couple of things. Uh, you know, send a, send yourself a transaction, send it, uh, uh, claim something somewhere. If you have like a, uh, a reward claim somewhere on a yield farming site and you should be good to go. I will say that I, uh, I'm not really sure what the uh, the speed increase is, uh, but it, it it does work. So it could be a, a solution if you are stuck in a, in a loop where you have like 20 transactions that are just sitting there not doing anything. This would definitely be a solution for you to try. And that that's kind of what this video is about. Just give it a try. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, you can go back to whatever you were doing. So if you made it this far, please click the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And uh, we have a lot more DeFi content coming along. So uh, that was the that was the didn't want to watch the whole video spiel. Uh, now I'm going to go through setting up the actual RPC and showing you how I did it. Stay tuned. Now we're going to go ahead and set up Infura. And basically, it's very simple. You're here at Infura.io. You're going to sign up for an account. Okay, guys. So you're here on the Infura page after you've logged in. What you want to do is under let's get started, there is a new network alert. The Polygon network API is available today. Click here to get started. This is the link that you need to click on. So click on that. You can see there are paid plans here. We are on a free tier. And what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down. You wanna to go to Polygon POS. Currently that is X'd out, like you don't need it. Uh, well, you don't need to pay for it rather. And that's what you want. You want to click on select add on. All right. So moving my camera over here, you can now see that now that I have those details, uh, it says, please add a card on file to subscribe. So this is the caveat that you need. So that's why I have an app like privacy to give me a number for something like that. So um, I will go ahead and do that. And then I will see you on the other side once that is done. Okay, so before I go to this, I just want to let you know, it's just that all you have to do is put in the number. You don't have to put in any of your details. Uh, they just wanted the number, the the three-digit CVV, and the expo. And it uh, they just had it on file. So now you click on Get Started Now. And there you go. You're green. Let me move my camera back over. Yeah, back to this Ethereum box. And basically what now we're going to do is you want to click on Ethereum and we want to create a project. This is how we're going to start with our RPC server. We're going to call it Mimatic RPC. 
Okay, so when you come down to here, we now have our project details. It's called My Matic RPC. And this is the information that's on here. What we want to do is we want to change this endpoint piece from mainnet to polygon mainnet. From there, you're going to get this lovely you are actually you want to save those changes. And from what I can tell, it hasn't really been saving it, but the numbers don't change. It's just whatever this polygon dash mainnet dot infura dot io uh, and this piece, and then your actual project ID. And this is the URL that you're going to use as your custom RPC. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my MetaMask in a second, and we will get that to work. Now that we have our custom RPC server created, and we are going to add it to our MetaMask. So we need these details here, particularly for here, because the only thing that's changing is just this RPC URL. That's the URL that you're going to create. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this part right here under this area where the network is. I'm going to create a custom RPC and we're going to call it my personal. I mean, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it my personal medic RPC. RPC URL. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that URL that we got from the project and get back to that. I'll copy this. Okay, so we're going to do that. Unfortunately, this is kind of this is a web extension, so you're going to have to redo it again. Custom RPC. Do it again. My personal Matic RPC. We're going to paste that RPC URL in there. Uh, chain ID is right here on the side 137. Matic will be your currency symbol. And then we're just going to do the HTTPS explorer matic.network. We're going to save it. And there it is at the bottom, my personal Matic RPC. You're going to see I've already done it and I, I use it. It works. And so we're already linked to it. So then all we have to do now is start making some transactions. It should work just fine for you. So that's it. That's the end of the video. And basically that's, uh, that's all I got for you on this. Hopefully it, uh, it was useful. And in the event that uh, you need it, it's uh, something you can use in a pinch. So again, like, and subscribe, feel free to leave some feedback if you like. Like I said, I don't know how long this is going to work in terms of the no cost because it is a beta feature. Uh, hopefully it's there for a while, but if it doesn't, then you're going to know. And yeah. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. We have a bunch of new DeFi content coming. I have a build a bag series that I'll be starting very soon uh, to help with those who want to get started, but don't want to invest a whole lot of money. Uh, you may have seen some of these videos that people talk about, you know, spending a thousand dollars turning into 5,000 or more. Uh, sometimes you don't want to do that or you really can't do that. So I'm going to try and come up with this, this little budget video where we're going to do it kind of like how you do it in poker, where you have a bankroll and you are building your bankroll by playing and, and making the right moves. So hopefully we can, uh, we can help other people who want to build their own bag or if anything, make their money work for them. And that's really the whole point of, of investments, right? Is to make your, your money work for you. So hopefully you found this useful and we'll see you in our future DeFi content. Have a good day.